tired, Howard? I'm dead tired. I don't know how you do it, Tom. Three nights without sleep and licking an epidemic all by yourself. I believe the serum helped quite a bit. No wonder the natives call you Rama. You know, sometimes even I think you're superhuman. Any witch doctor could have done what I did if he'd had a medical education. Don't tell me you're tired already, Professor. Oh, no, Charlie. I'm as fresh as a daisy. <laughs> What do you make of that? Some animals must have frightened them. Animals couldn't scare them birds. We'd better check our guns. Tell the boaters to watch out for themselves. And that to you. than an hour from Vantine's trading post. What are you afraid of? Nothing very likely, but it's best to be careful. No, no. at that. We sure did. Too bad I had to kill one of them. Do you know what tribe he belongs to, Charlie? The Condors. You sure? Sure. Look at all that blue paint all over his face. Why the blue paint? Who are the Condors? They come from way upriver, days away from here. And they're a ferocious lot. This one's still alive. He's only a kid. You think you can fix him up, Doc? If we can get him to Vantine's trading post alive, I'll remove the bullets. Charlie, call the porters and have them rig up some sort of a litter to carry this boy. Right, Hulk. Could you have her? Pacer, pacer. You're back. Hello, Trudy. Is your father here? No, he's down the river getting supplies. Who's that? He's a condor. A condor here? We were attacked by a group of them, and he was shot. I'd like to bring him inside and remove the bullets. Why, certainly. Magugla. What do you think? He's got a chance. First one. Well, there's the other one. Now we can patch him up. Tom, look! What was it? A face. Like his. He had a blowgun ready to shoot. There's no one out there. I tell you, I saw a face painted just like this. Well, if there was someone out there, you'd never find him in the dark. What's wrong? 
anything I've done or Walter. Is that the face you saw? No. <laughs> Where have you been? Just taking Walter out for an airing. Poor fella sure missed me, all right. I hope he wasn't too much trouble taking care of Miss Van Tyne. No trouble at all, Charlie. <laughs> Why, Walter, you've lost a feather. <laughs> Look at that silly bird. He's molting out of season. How's the patient? All he needs now is some expert nursing. I'll be glad to take care of him. Oh, why didn't I put those two bullets in myself? <laughs> Say, Charlie, this blue paint's as hard to get off as a tattoo. Where'd it come from? From the blue jungle, where this native came from. It's certainly a beautiful color. What's the color of the vegetation in that jungle? Lots of it looks near blue, Doc. That's why they gave it the name. Why, even the bugs, spiders, and beetles are that color, too. I think we should go and look this place over. When? Well, we can start in the morning. Oh, I should have known things were running too smoothly. Well, if I'm going to spend just one night in bed, I may as well get all the mileage out of it I can. I think I'd better catch a few winks myself. Call me when he wakes up. I will, Tom. won't you? You know the reputation of the Condas. They've never made friends with anybody. Well, I think he made friends with one of them last night. Will it be all right, Tom? Yes, if you uh, can keep him tied down long enough for his wounds to heal. So long, old chum. We didn't see much of one another this time, did we? We've been through a lot together, him and me. Now, don't you worry, Charlie. He'll have the best of care. Let's go, shall we? Goodbye, Trudy. Bye. Goodbye, Trudy. Bye. Bye. a long drink, remember? I like staying in bed as much as you, but we didn't come to Africa to do a lot of sleeping. Hey, what's the matter with you, Charlie? I'm just trying to get my bearings, Professor. It's a long time since I came this way. Why, oh, can't we just pick out a bluebird and follow it? <laughs> it's not as easy as that. I think we're on the right track, Charlie. Well, if you say so, Doc. He's hungry. That one's already got his dinner. Ah, uh, we might as well check our position as long as we're in this clearing. I don't need a compass to tell me where north is. Look at the sun. Yeah, well, take a look at that. It's going crazy. I never saw the like of it. That's north for the sun, but the needle's pointing straight east. 
This compass knows where we're going better than we do, Charlie. All we have to do is follow the needle. Well, if that's what you want, Doc, that's what you'll get. Don't worry. This compass hasn't gone crazy, and neither have I. Don't look too friendly, and there's no use tangling with them. Guess you're right, Doc. drums, Charlie. After all the miles we've come, they have to be the Condors. There's no other tribe living around here. Can you make out what they're saying? Not quite. Let's have a look. Here. They must be waiting for him. What's he saying, Charlie? He said he saw a white medicine man making bad voodoo on his brother with a little crooked knife. Then Trudy was right about the face at the window. He must have been watching outside when I removed the bullets. This looks bad. You bet it is. He wants the whole tribe to go to war. Kill you and all the other whites in revenge for what you did to his brother. That's all we need. Now we've got to go back and warn Trudy and her father. Come on. to get away. She'll tell the warriors we're here.
way do you think she went? Search me. Let's have a look over here. Charlie, if you think this compass acted crazy before, look at it now. I'm a seeing it, but I ain't believing it. Is this it? Yes, we found it. Found what? Where the counters get their blue paint and what made the compass point east. this gauze and slip it under my hat. That should have done it. his color from the rocks. I've seen some horrid creatures in the jungle, but this one is the nastiest of them all. Here, take it. it was me. I accidentally dislodged that log with my foot, pushing my way in here. In doing so, you sealed us in. This cave is solid rock. What a way to die. Of course, there's only one person to mourn me, and that's my parrot. It does look pretty bad, unless the natives decide to dig us out of here. Then at least we'll have a fighting chance. <laughs> Hey, there's a torch over there. Light it, Howard. Say, I think we stumbled onto something really terrific. Don't tell me that's uranium. No, but it's something just about as valuable, maybe even more so. What could be more valuable than uranium? Cobalt. It's one of the most important metals. It's used in jet aircraft and powerful magnets. And don't forget medical research with radioactive cobalt. I guess nobody ever thought to look for it here. Very likely nobody ever will again. Hear that? What are those clumsers doing now? That's not hard to guess. They're digging for us. Would they do that knowing we have guns? You seem to forget. They don't know whether we're dead or alive. Oh. Well, at 
least we don't have to decide. Decide what? Whether to smother a fight. They made the decision for us. You sure you have a full clip? We can get a few of them anyway. Did you hear that? The natives are calling Mebo, Mebo. In their language, that means friend. Friend? It's a trick. Maybe. But we haven't got a prayer in here. Let's hold our fire and hope that Charlie knows what he's talking about. All right, if you say so. but I don't believe it. It's unbelievable. After what he's been through, and hiking all those miles through the jungle. He says you saved his brother's life, Doc, and the whole tribe wants to be friends. Rama, Mebo, 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 Mebo. Sure, your father sends his cobalt ore samples downriver with his next shipment, Trudy. Don't worry, when he hears what it is, he'll deliver it himself. You know, Trudy, you're not a very good nurse. Why? I told you to keep that counter boy tied down. <laughs> but I'd hate to think what would have happened to us if you'd followed our instructions. <laughs> Walter, old chappy, did you miss me? <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Walter, how could you? I'll teach you to go away and leave him all alone. Walter, I'll never neglect you again. <laughs> <laughs> 